This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. There are always controversies. There are always sex scandals. There will be one, I am sure, in the next three to nine months. Someone none of us have ever heard of until, you know, then. Uh, and it's going to happen. It just has to happen because that's what happens in Congress. Something is found out. These people are meant to live perfect lives. That is an unreasonable expectation. Uh, but they also are meant uh, to live with what the expectations are, for better or worse. And Wiener did not do that. A former congressman who also did not do that, and maybe more egregiously, not maybe, much more egregiously, uh, was Congressman Mark Foley uh, of Florida. Congressman Foley, you'll remember, was doing it with younger people. Uh, he was doing it uh, surreptitiously uh, as a, a closeted gay man, uh, and it became um, taking advantage of interns and, and the like. Uh, it became a really an unseemly situation. Foley uh, left the Congress. Uh, but now Foley is here talking about the Wiener scandal, because uh, to get somebody like Mark Foley is a real get in these kind of uh, in, in these kind of stories because he's somebody who's lived that. He's walked in those footsteps. Uh, Mark Foley, a uh, former congressman, was talking to, uh, I believe it was Sean Hannity. Is that right, JR? Um, here's Mark Foley uh, talking to Sean Hannity. This is clip number five. Is it the culture? Is it, you get in this atmosphere of people calling you congressman, they're looking up to you, they want your autograph. I don't know. Um, is it, you know, there's an impulse control issue that I see with Wiener. It seemed like, you know, it's, it's so reckless that he's sending emails and explicit pictures and, and messages to people he doesn't even know. I think it's a number of things. I think all day you are adulated. People say, oh, Congressman, you're the greatest thing we have in our community. And maybe there's a lacking there. Maybe it's an ego. Maybe it's a, an immaturity with new technology. I mean, I know in my heart I would never say those things if somebody's in front of me. The technology, as I mentioned, the computer the was... Well, right, you're be between a screen and you're... Like I said, the confessional, when you say things in your confessional, you blurt them out, the priest on the other side of it says, three Hail Marys, two Our Fathers. And you walk away absolved, or at least you feel absolved, of those guilts. The computer was some, to, to, to a degree, that same methodology. And so, I know in my heart I wouldn't have said these things. Anthony probably wouldn't either. And, and that's the uniqueness of why this internet is trapping and capturing so many people. You know, I mean, uh, Congressman, former Congressman Foley makes a, a good point. Um, the, and it's a point, though, that, that we know. Uh, there is an anonymity to the Internet that allows people to say things that they would not ordinarily say, uh, to go places that they would not maybe ordinarily go. Uh, you know, uh, we get lots of comments on this on, on our show. Uh, a lot of people are going to write in about this later, or a handful will. The, a lot of them won't watch because Jenk isn't on today. But the ones that do may have a comment. They may find something annoying or something great about what I am saying or anybody else here is saying. Um, but they are empowered because nobody knows who they are. Uh, I don't read those, and for better or worse. I mean, I would love to hear all the good things and dismiss all the bad things. But the point is that there isn't that the power of anonymity is so great. It's also never been more evident than it is now in America, in the world, because of the Internet. We've never experienced anonymity like we've experienced it now. Uh, it still, and I don't think Congressman Foley is looking for an excuse here. He's looking, he's trying to make an explanation, but because it doesn't excuse. It certainly doesn't excuse what he did. Uh, it, it enlightens us as to why he did it or what allowed him to do it. It doesn't excuse what Anthony Weiner did, because the expectations are still there. Whether or not they're realistic, whether or not they're able to be upheld, the expectations are there because we elect people who represent our constituency, uh, who represent what we like to believe in our little local neighborhood our states and our country uh, and and that's how we vote uh, we're not voting for perfect people but they have to obey rules and they have to live within the confines of, of, of expectation that we don't have to live in. and they have to acknowledge that and that's why Anthony Weiner's being brought down that's why Mark Foley was was let out that's why John Ensign uh, the hypocrite uh, was let out I mean he was somebody who was preaching Christianity and fundamentalism and family values and he was off you know having an affair and ruining somebody else's marriage uh, 
if not his own, and he's no longer in the Congress and it may have been criminal. So there's a hypocrisy that comes into play as well. But it may all be hypocritical, I mean, because people cannot live like, like they're expected to in the public eye. Uh, but Mark Foley goes a little bit further now. But Mark Foley, um, you know, just as he seems reasonable in talking about these things, comparing the Internet to, to confessional, Catholic confessional, something I've never done, but I think we all know about it, at least the lore of it. Uh, but Foley goes a little further here in clip six. Let's listen to this, Jr. Do you think somebody that sends emails and has instant messages with children like you did, should that be a crime? Should people go to jail for that? Because... You know, one of the things you said you had to deal with is your exploitation. If somebody talks the way you spoke to this kid, these kids, should they go to jail? No. Should no. they be arrested? No. Can well, people tr how do people trust people that talk like that with kids? How do they trust them around kids? Well, I think, again, it goes to behavior. And, I, you know, Anthony's saying he so didn't have So you can write contact. anything you want to a kid on the Internet? No. Again, Sean, and I'm not going to sit here and try and excuse my behavior. But should I have gone to jail? No, absolutely not. Uh, I mean, he's in essence saying that you can be a predator on the Internet to children and say explicit things to children and, and, be, and not be punished because it's anonymous. Um, this is a perverted predator, Mark Foley. It's a good thing he's not in Congress. I don't know if he should be in jail. I don't know the, the degree to the things he did. I could not disagree more. I mean, he loses his whole argument over talking about the sort of the, the sociological changes that have happened since the Internet has, has become part of our daily life. Um, but in fact, he then goes on to prove why he is a scary kind of a guy and somebody who has no control. Anybody who thinks that you should or could, without fear of punishment, email explicit things to minors, to children, as Sean Hannity said, uh, uh, without any kind of recourse. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, you are, uh, with, with, that, that is uh, really uh, contemptible and wrong. Um, and there is a degree of reprehensibility, not only in what he says, but what he did. I mean, if this is the kind of person that he is, not only should he not have been in Congress, but he, you know, he, you should know when he moves into your neighborhood. This is not, even though he says he wouldn't say it to your face. Uh, I like that. Um, but, you know, it's very different from what Anthony Weiner did. And I'm not just saying it because Foley was a Republican and Weiner's a Democrat, and I like Anthony Weiner. Uh, but it is very different. I think anybody, um, you know, objectively would say that it's very different. Uh, other than the fact that they took advantage of their power, uh, they, they preyed on different kinds of people. Uh, and, I, and one of them was adult, one of them was child, uh, and one of them what, seemed much more consensual, and one of them seemed as if they were chasing somebody. Um, in, in any case, none of it is a pretty thing to talk about. Uh, but, but when you hear somebody like Mark Foley uh, saying that he thinks that you should go unpunished, unpunished, for doing the things that he did in, with a minor, it makes you think that it's a good thing he's not in the Congress and maybe there are better places for Mark Foley to be. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT, free trial membership, you get Netflix all over you.